What's going on guys, DBG here and this is the best 100k squad. As always, if this video hits 100 likes, I will do another squad builder for next week. But anyway, at 100k, this is where it's all about personal preference. You can pick up a team that can be in any league in my team online for 100k. If you're good with your money, you can pick up a team that will dominate pink diamond leagues for 100k. In my opinion, this is the best team, but a lot of people have other opinions, a lot of people will have other preferences, but this just suits my playstyle. So anyway, at the one, we have got Sapphire John Wall. Yes, you can go for the Ruby, but it costs four times as much and really is not much better. The Ruby has much better post defense, but if you just look at the stats that really matter, like speed and three and shots, this one has an 84-3, pretty much the same mid-range shot, and 85 driving dunk, as well as same speed, whatever it is, it's down here, yeah, 97 speed, 97 speed with ball, 93 acceleration, can't go wrong. At the two, we have got a shooting guard, yeah, and it's Hersey Hawkins. I really like this Hersey Hawkins card, really nice release, and does extremely well for me. A lot of people, I don't see many people using him, but even though he does only have a 90, 89 open shot three, those shooting badges make him pretty much money from everywhere. At the three, we have got Tayshaun Prince, one of the best three and D guys in the game. One of the best defenders in the game, just look at these badges, defense stopper, charge card, pickpocket, chase down artist, really good defensive badges. Not a great passer, not a great rebounder, but look at these defense stats. On ball defense 95, pick and roll defense 96. Block 42, even though he gets a ton, but he gets a ton of blocks. Steal 92. And then, really, all you want your lock in defender to do is hit shots, and with an 84 on shot 3, 83 contested, and a nice release, he hits tons of them. At the four, we have got a player that I don't actually have right now because I did sell him, and it is Amethyst Spencer Haywood. This card, I'm going to Photoshop it in anyway, I'll show you the stats. This card is actually a pink diamond. The reason it's a 92 overall is because it has 50 intangibles. But when they are bumped up to the normal of 95, it becomes a 96 overall pink diamond. I'm going to make another video about this card, but yeah, it's actually a hidden pink diamond. One of the best cards in the game. The only reason I sold it is because I think that they're going to have really really good packs coming out on Monday or Tuesday those team packs I think that may be a better power forward for much cheaper so I decided just to hold off save my MT at the five to make up for the fact that Spencer Haywood is six foot eight we have got the tallest player in the game a new ball seven foot seven and what's his block rating block 98 really good rebounding so yeah this card is just huge off the bench at the one we have got a shooting guard and it is Reggie Lewis if you've yet to use this card, it's one of the best cards in the game and can just dominate. Six foot seven, good stats. Like if you look at his badges, mid-range dead eye, difficult shots, tired of score, catch and shoot, posterizer, relentless finisher, really good. Then you scroll through his stats. Home shot mid-range 92, off dribble mid-range 90, home shot 376, not too bad considering how good his release is. On ball defense IQ 86, speed 88, speed ball 88, so again pretty much is an all-around beast. There's nothing the card doesn't do well, and the stuff it does do well, it does exceptionally well. At the two, we've got a small forward. While a lot of people use this card as a stretch four, I actually really like it as a two guard. I don't know why, it just seems to work out. This card has corner special, mid-range like deep range like limitless range, catch and shoot, and pick and pop it. Six foot ten, very like Peja Stojakovic, just better in my opinion. Open shot 390, I prefer his release to Peja, but he plays very like Peja, but better in my opinion. At the three, we have got one of my favorite players in the game, and it's Corey Maggetti. I have made enough videos on this guy. You know, this guy is pretty much Vince Carter, Amethyst, but possibly a little bit better, nicer release. So yeah, really good. At the four, we have got Josh Smith, this Ruby. Bring this guy pack in. Like, as a defender, exceptional. Really good defensive badges. Posterizer. Like, even though it does only average 5.3 points and not doesn't really shoot well, the impact this card makes on the game is unbelievable. It can push the floor. If you get a rebound with it, unlike most power forwards, it has a good speed at width ball of 78, which means you can push the floor. 84 speed, 95 driving dunk. Even though standing dunk 65 doesn't really matter. 92 block. Good rebounding. This card is one of my favorite power forwards in the game and definitely deserves a spot in this squad. At the five, we've got my favorite center in the game, and it's Al Horford. Like, I've if you look at this card, 9.1 points per game for me and considering that I rarely score with centers if you look at like my Manu Bowl 3.5 points I don't think I have any it's very rare I have a player that averages more than 10 points a game for me over 9 points per game for Al Horford extremely extremely good last three spots off the bench I always have Steph Curry 
because I don't know. I think I'll probably upgrade this to the Ruby if the Ruby goes down to about 15k. But it, you should always just have a Steph Curry somewhere in your squad, in my opinion. Next up, we have got a small forward, Nadi Gadala. I don't think I've ever used that card, but it's your own currency. This card plays very like the Josh Smith, but has prob is probably a much better shooter. Yeah, it's a better shooter for mid range and has a nicer release. Rebounding, very similar. Height, similar. Better driving dunk. But yeah, it plays very like the Josh Smith. And to be honest, whichever one I use is just personal preference. Josh Smith a little bit better defender, but Kersey's better offensively, so it all depends. And at the last spot off the bench, we have got, because we have got a small center, we have just got to put in another 7'6 seven foot, seven foot center. In this squad, I use Sean Bradley, but to be honest, I would, if, if I could, I would have made this a 110k squad and just put in Yao. I opened one pack and bought, got Yao. So yeah, like I'd have Yao in there if I was using it, but for this squad, I had Sean Bradley. So anyway, now let's get on to the highlights. Run free and dive into the sky. Hear the wind crying out its prayer. While we are so ashamed to be alive. Break the chains and our freedom is ours to take. So yeah, that's the video. In my opinion, this is the best teaming pick for 100k because it has everything. It has defenders, it has scorers, it has shooters, it has players like John Wall, Reggie Lewis, Maggetti, Spencer Haywood when he was in there that were just go-to guys. If something was going wrong, you could get scores with them. It has shooters, Hawkins, Keith Van Horn, defenders like Josh Smith, Manu Bowl, and then Al Horford is just an all-round beast offensive center. So in my opinion, this is one of the best and most well-rounded teams you can pick up for 100k. Obviously, you might disagree with this, but in my opinion, these are the players that I like to use. So anyway, that's the video. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. With all the things that's going on, I lost track, I felt so strong.